The annual Freeze Art Fair in London's Regent's Park is making even more of a splash this year, with one of the exhibits featuring performance artists hurling tomatoes at each other. The piece is part of a wider programme aimed at exploring the role of food in contemporary art. As our culture editor, Matthew Kane explains. Food has always had a strong presence in art. Still lifes and images of eating, like this one by Caravaggio in the National Gallery, are familiar to all of us. And there's something reassuring about that familiarity. But now the art world's nibbling on something new. At the Freeze Art Fair, a series of performance-based commissions are exploring the relationship between art and food. It's all a far cry from the still life. The Coliseum of the Consumed is the work of Cumbria-based arts organisation Grisdale Arts. We're technically farmers, we do have a farm and we work with food a lot and what we find is that Whereas, uh, because we work in the ordinary world, if you like, rather than uh, just the, the high end of contemporary art, uh, the language of food is more understandable and useful to convey ideas than the, the normal language of contemporary art. Grisdale Arts are also making a cake in the shape of an art curator, which they'll cut up and sell to the public. Perhaps a comment on art as commerce. What we're trying to say is that we should start to think about art in terms of how we use it and consume it uh, rather in, in ordinary life rather than just a, a special uh, rather than just a, a special occasion or an object of contemplation. Over the last 10 years, British artists have become much more interested in the subject of food, something which mirrors the transformation of Britain into a nation of foodies. If you compare with the magnificent Dutch still lifes, which teemed with food of all kinds, and then perhaps the Impressionists also had wonderful scenes of food under trees, the British, not surprisingly, didn't really go for food. We were good at landscape, we were good at animals, we were good at, very good at portraits, but you really don't see much food until now. Work like this here at Freeze shows that food is now firmly established in the language of contemporary art. But Freeze is ultimately a commercial art fair, and many collectors may be put off buying work which necessarily has a short shelf life. I don't want to overfeed my, my guests, so I'm going to have just part Valeria Napoleone is an art collector who hosts regular dinners for people working in the art world and has written a recipe book inspired by food in art. She says she'd be happy buying a piece of food-based art. There is an issue, like there is an issue in buying performance art. And uh, how do you, what do you own, actually? You know, it's, uh, if you have an artwork that is edible and then you eat it and eventually will dis disappear, uh, you, buy the, you buy the certificate most probably and you have the right to reproduce it. And so, and that's, uh, but you have to go beyond the object. Of course, the very fact that artists are creating work that's difficult to sell could in itself be read as a criticism of art as commerce, something which may be lost on many of the buyers flocking to one of the biggest art fairs in the world. Over four days, sales here are expected to total over £100 million. Pounds. <laughs>